The Arrive Canada app continues to be a bone of contention for many cross-border travellers. Some chambers of commerce in our region also believe it's time to drop it. Even Thunder Bay Rainy River MP Marcus Pulowski recently stated he believes the app should become optional. But fellow Liberal MP Patty Haidu thinks it may just need to be tweaked. In late June, the federal government extended the border measure for travellers entering the country until at least September 30th. There have been concerns, particularly those who don't have a strong grasp of the technology, such as older people, have had problems using ArriveCan. Haidu recognizes these problems, but stresses the app still has benefits. So I think there's always room to look at how we make the technology more accessible and how we make sure that we're not disincluding groups of people that don't have access to technology. But I think on principle, um, the, the app has been working well and it provides a back end, a process that actually smooths, uh, you know, providing that it's being used well, smooths um, the process of, uh, of re-entering the country quite well. Haidu says she can't provide any details as to whether ArriveCan might become optional in October or be dropped altogether.